worked hard to ensure that adaptation remains a priority within the council because obviously in the current climate of cuts and economic issues that we're facing, we need to ensure it stays on the radar and stays as a high priority. I think the main way we've done that is really building the business case for action. It's understanding what our current vulnerabilities are, how are we affected by severe weather, such as we all were affected by the flooding of the past winter. What has that actually really meant for us and our services? And what's that going to mean in the future when we have more of these events? And what's the kind of cost avoidance messages we can get from that? Kent is working with SMEs quite a lot around adaptation and resilience to climate change. We find it's quite often quite a difficult message to get across to businesses. And so what we've done is we've integrated it into our low carbon Kent network. It's a huge network of businesses across the county and we run workshops for a programme called Steps to Environmental Management, which is really well supported by businesses. There's over 500, around 535 businesses have gone through that and we've integrated adaptation into it. So we frame it around business continuity quite often. What does severe weather mean to you? What does flooding and heat waves mean to you? And get them to build it into their processes and prepare. Sometimes there's higher risk issues that we're aware of, such as water scarcity, we've done a risk assessment around water, and then we'll do focus sessions with our businesses as well, so they're aware of the risks and can plan for them. One of our priorities at Kent County Council has been ensuring that climate resilience and severe weather implications are embedded into our health and social care system. So we've worked hard with partners to develop a sustainability assessment as part of our joint strategic needs assessment. And that evidence base really underpins all we do through the health and wellbeing strategy. And so we've embedded climate resilience and looked to develop and deliver actions across the county. Coastal communities across Kent are facing significant risks and opportunities from climate change. Effects they might feel are things like more frequent extreme weather events, rising sea levels, changes in coastal erosion, and hotter, drier summers. Kent County Council is participating in the Coastal Communities 2150 project, which aims to help support coastal communities develop their own responses to climate change. We've been working in partnership with the Environment Agency and organizations across Europe. And here in Kent, we've been piloting the work with the Isle of Sheppey, Romney Marsh, and here in Margate and Cliftonville. Through the project, we've engaged 2,400 residents across Kent in developing their ideas and their suggestions for how we can better adapt to climate change. Through CC2150, we've produced a range of tools and guidance on how to best engage a community on climate change. We've also developed visions and action plans in each of our three areas. And looking forward, we'll be using those action plans to engage stakeholders on actually doing things on the ground. Building resilience is important to Kent County Council because it enables us to prepare and mitigate against future weather events for our services. It also helps us to have a community leadership role in helping our residents and businesses in Kent to prepare for the impacts of severe weather. It also enables us to um, put into place risk management processes and manage our costs effectively um, as, because we know about these events. We know about them through SWIMS, our Severe Weather Impact Monitoring System, and it's a tool that's been developed across Kent with our partners and is being rolled out nationally. So for example, the winter events of 2013-14, um, we had 929 properties flooded in Kent, 28,500 properties without power, and the whole event cost us between five and six million pounds. Um, on top of that, three million pounds for highway improvements um, and on our rights of way network.